reviewed it once already on the channel and went through how much I absolutely adored it, but to summarize really quickly, this game feels like a Nintendo game in every sense, from just the at its core fun gameplay, to the cutesy visuals, and just the unique approach the developers took to designing each level. If you love all of those fantastic Nintendo platformers, and you also have that interest in VR, this is the perfect blend of both of those things. Death Stranding is my number 10 on this list. This might upset some people, I actually really enjoyed this game. It's not perfect, and it has a lot of flaws, and chapter three is very slow, but I enjoyed my experience playing Death Stranding so much that when I finally did finish the game, which took me hours and weeks after launch, I wrote up a whole script for a review, and I tweaked that script, and I kept going back to that script, and I just couldn't decide what I wanted to say, because everything I wrote felt like I was trying to justify why people didn't like the game and it didn't really come together so I never ended up making the video even though I did write a script that in the end I was very proud of. What I really tried to tackle in the review that didn't end up happening is why the game is so slow paced. And I feel like if I summarize it, it's not gonna have the same meaning, but here we are. In the world they now live in, Sam Porter is a one in a million kind of guy. So when you're given that job to trudge from one side of the United States to the other, it's a dangerous, but also very boring job, which is why he didn't want to do it. And I believe that Kojima wanted you to feel in the first few chapters how boring his job was. Yeah, it was very boring, and a lot of people couldn't even get through the first few chapters. But about the fourth chapter, Sam finds himself getting tangled up in a storyline much bigger than he anticipated when he accepted the job. I just instantly got engrossed at that point. I went from almost giving up on the game to there being not a chance of me putting it down. The action, and especially the story, had me totally gripped and immersed in this world. This world, everyone lives behind closed doors. You travel miles to get to these places and no one even bothers to open their doors and come and meet you face to face. Everything is digital. The world runs on likes and working together as a community, but through the digital world. A lot of people criticize that as Kojima trying to make some weird statement about the way the world is heading. And here we are just months later, at the end of this game and the final moments of storytelling, I was in tears and not many mediums from movies, TV shows to video games have moved me to the point of tears. Is. Oh, I was I was struggling to hold him back. Needless to say, I was invested and I really enjoyed the game. Final Fantasy VII Remake. This one might be a lot higher on most of your lists, but I think you'll understand when I say uh, the reason why it's lower on mine, I don't have nostalgia for the game. I never really played it back in the day. I didn't get very far and I really don't remember anything that I played. Final Fantasy IX resonated with me a lot more. I adored Final Fantasy IX. From the moment I played it and replayed it and re- <laughs>